So, you want to stretch your septum? How do you go about it? Don't worry, we got you covered. First things first, as with any stretching process, you should first wait until your piercing is fully healed. If you're getting your septum pierced and you know you want to stretch it down the line, you can ask your piercer to pierce you at a larger gauge size. A taper that only stretches one side at a time with a concave end is a good tool to use for this purpose, and a body safe lubricant is a must. You will also need jewelry that's not more than one gauge larger than your current size. Your best options will be single flare plugs, captive bead rings, or circular barbells, and the material should be stainless steel, titanium, or glass. Porous materials such as wood, silicone, or stone are not recommended for stretching. It's important to note that you should only stretch up as gradual as possible. That means if you are at 16 gauge, you should stretch no larger than 14 gauge and then let your piercing rest before going larger. Before stretching, make sure your hands, taper, and new jewelry are all clean and sanitized. Next, make sure both your piercing and taper are lubricated so that the taper can slide through your piercing easily. Gently slide the taper through your piercing, holding your new jewelry against the concave end so that it can slide into your septum after the taper. A bit of tenderness is normal, as your nose has a lot of nerve endings and less flexible tissue in it. But listen to your body, and if the process is painful, stop and let your piercing rest before attempting to stretch again. The soreness may also continue after you've stretched. Again, this is normal for septums, but reach out to your piercer if the pain feels abnormal or you notice any other abnormalities with your piercing. It's best to wait at least one to two months between stretches, though some piercers recommend longer due to the septum being partially made up of cartilage, which often needs longer to heal. If you plan to stretch to a larger size, like a zero gauge, you may start to see some slight change to your nose shape due to the cartilage being shifted from the stretch. If you want to avoid this, consult your piercer about using a dermal punch on your septum if that is an option for your anatomy. Just like with stretching your ears, the best practice is to stretch slowly and in small increments at a time. Use a taper, a body safe lubricant, and high quality non-porous jewelry. And turn to your piercer if you need help or guidance.